So this is my uh, 32 DBKS Puma by Palomino. It's a 2015. In here, right at the very front, closest to the battery, so you keep your run short. I have a thousand watt pure sine wave inverter connected directly to the battery with a 100 amp DC breaker. The DC breaker is installed in behind the inverter, you can't see it there. I have a small extension cord, I'm going to plug in a more heavy duty one later on, but I can take that extension cord and run it back to the power, the main power of the camper, plug the camper right into it, and then I have full AC throughout. That 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter won't run the air conditioning, and I haven't tried it, but it should run the microwave. So I got the number four wire coming straight out, drilled through the floor, and then luckily there was already a hole here. So I have two batteries here, two heavy duty deep cycle batteries, 12 volts. The positive goes on one battery, the negative goes on the other, and the batteries are wired in parallel. <clears throat> so that way it gets power from both batteries, 12 volts. What I have set up here for my solar, it's a, I have a 100 watt solar panel. This is my solar connection that I made. I bought this access for 10 bucks at RV World. I find these, this connection to be the most reliable. I have a male connector on my 100 watt solar panel. I plug that in. And that goes into my charge controller. And I'll show you where that's at. So the charge controller is and the lights on here. There's the charge controller. That's wired down into I have both wired to my power supply here, my converter. This 15 amp breaker, I have the solar wired into that, and then this wired into all the, the uh, solar. I'll say that again. The panel goes into the solar charge controller, and then the charge controller goes down into this 15 amp circuit. What that does, that's connected to the the actual uh, DC circuits of the battery, and when I'm uh, Basically, when I'm running with uh, the converter, when I'm running with sort of with the inverter out in the the front, I just shut the converter off and I plug the camper in. And then that way, the converter doesn't try to start charging the battery when I'm on AC power from the batteries from the inverter, because then it's just going to create a, a loop. It's a basic uh, PWN solar charger. And you can set this button to any kind of work mode. So you can set it to turn something on after it gets dark for so many hours and you just set the code. Right now it's set to manual, so when I turn it on, it powers this digital voltmeter. And then that uh, tells me what my volts are at. So I find that's a really handy way to, to hook up a charge controller is to wire it right into your, your converter panel and that way you get a nice clean install. Because this converter panel has a heavy duty, heavy gauge, uh, I think it's number eight, that runs back to the battery, so you're not gonna get any voltage drop. And that's my uh, solar and inverter install.